Hi, I'm Ilya from BitScout and in this video I will show you an example how you can create a meetings tracker uh, for your organization or your unit. We all know that we cannot be in all the meetings and using modern technologies you can record the meeting then transcribe it and then use uh, AI to create summaries. This way you will have you as a manager or a business unit team leader you can have a bird's eye view of what is being discussed in your organization and the meeting tracker is structured very in a very straightforward fashion so you have a uh, incoming transcripts uh, you have a meeting recording file and then transcript file then you can extract participants and create summary the point of summary and key points uh, is that this is a textual information about a video meeting so you can use this text here to generate keywords or to detect if there are action points in the meeting or, the, for example, if there is a client meeting that you're tracking, if the client was, um, what was the state of mind of the client, whether they were disappointed or uh, were happy. All this allows you to create a more sophisticated analytics of what's going on uh, in video meetings, which in this remote world uh, are happening all over the place. Now, to show you how, how it works, I, am, I have already pre-recorded some meeting uh, for you and what will happen now, I will uh, stop the recording and then I will end the meeting. What usually happens if you use Zoom uh, and you have a, a plan, then the meeting will be automatically um, uploaded to the cloud. So once it happens, I have a special Integromat uh, scenario that is uh, tracing the recordings okay I will switch it on and the way it works is that uh, once the recording is uploaded to uh, a cloud server it will download the recording move it to uh, a Dropbox file and then create a share link and update the task on Monday once this happens once the uh, the file is uploaded to Dropbox, the automated transcription service will start and it will generate a second file, which is called a transcript file. This all happens automatically. Uh, and using once the transcript file arrives to Monday, we will trigger the generation of the key points from this file. In this way, you have uh, meetings that happened, the ones that were recorded, they are getting transcripted automatically, and then the key points are being generated by AI. So this way you can get a bird's eye view of what's going on. So let's wait a little bit while the data is being uploaded. Okay, as we can see. All right. So we have a task. So this is the meeting that happened that I recorded. And we can see uh, the recorded file here. Okay, so it's a video file that will that will be transcripted as we speak. Okay. So now I will switch. So let's see if we have our file there. Okay. Okay. So now the transcript was generated. So here it is. We can have a look. Okay, something is there, and now what we need to do is to run the to extract the key points from this transcript. We, so now let's try to extract the key points. Uh, there are multiple ways how you can set it up, but in general, what we are doing, we are uh, using BitScout recipe uh, to analyze the transcript file, which is a text file, so we'll be able to extract the information from it. Okay, so our key points are generated. Let's have a look. And here it is. So basically, the meeting that was recorded was our discussion with my uh, technical team about shareable models and some updates that we are preparing for summaries. But this is the way how you can uh, understand what is happening in all the meetings without necessarily being in each and every one of them. Obviously, key points is only one demo. 
You can use uh, questions to text, for example, to extract who were the participants. You basically can create a question saying who was in the meeting, what was discussed, if there are any questions to Ilya Zelenkin, and etc. Uh, and this way it allows you to have a very uh, sophisticated control on, on the meetings and improve your productivity. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free uh, to contact us. Thanks a lot for your time.